So the topic for this video relates to God and specifically why prayer doesn't seem to be answered. Um, I think it is a very important topic and I know that for me personally, the points that I will be highlighting have really aided me in my spiritual journey, in my walk with God and in my prayer life. And prayer is absolutely fundamental in the Christian's life. Um, hence it is of great importance and I think it is something that needs to be discussed. So I'm not going to do this in any specific order but I think my first point relates to the timing not being right. Um, you know sometimes sometimes we become impatient and we say oh but God isn't answering my prayers and sometimes we develop expectations as to when we expect God is going to be answering our prayers um, but in reality you know his timing is way different from ours and it could be due to situations or scenarios not having been set in place yet or it could even be due to our hearts not being ready to receive his answer um, but it's always important to talk to God and to ask him to give you the patience to wait for his answer and I think another thing that I mean I know for me personally I have definitely done in the past is sometimes we pray and we ask God something and we already have a preconceived expectation or idea as to how we expect him to answer our prayers and this can be quite this is limiting on God because God has so many means by which he works and you know sometimes he does answer but because of these preconceived expectations we subconsciously end up pushing the answers away and saying no but you know God's going to answer my prayer in this way or in this form and I think one of the other issues with that is sometimes when people pray and they expect things to happen in a specific way sometimes people make <laughs> the answer to the prayer themselves or create their own answer to prayer um, especially if it is something that they can that they can manipulate or adjust um, another thing is that it is so easy to also subconsciously and you know it happens without one realizing it but it is very easy um, when one has because I, I don't think it's wrong for us to have, you know, within our heart, have an idea of what we want the answer to be. But the issue lies within us wanting the answer to be a certain answer and not accepting it when it's a different answer. Um, I find that it is very useful to pray about this and just to just be honest with God, to tell him your feelings and your emotions and to say, Lord, you know, I really want the answer to be this. But if that is not within your will, please give me the strength to accept it. And, you know, please show me what your will is in a clear manner that I will unmistakably know what the answer is. And God respects that. God honors his word. God, God does what he says he will do. And if you ask him to provide clarity and you ask him to help you I mean you know sometimes it can be something that's painful God will give you the strength to deal with it and God will never put any situation within your path that he knows you do not have enough strength to deal with he will always give you sufficient strength here are a few I wanted to say below I'm so used to writing essays <laughs> um, I've got a few verses that I feel are very relevant that I would like to share and the first one comes from 1st John 5 verse 14 now this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will he hears us I think it's very important to to note the words if we ask anything and then according to his will um, yeah sometimes we ask for things that are selfish 
but it's always important to remember that God always answers. Sometimes the answer is no. Sometimes the answer might be yes. Sometimes the answer might be through the opening of certain doors or closing of other doors. You know, it all depends on the situation and what God's will is. And he's always looking at a much bigger picture and considering so many aspects that do not even come to mind, um, for us at least. And then my next verse is from Psalms 33 verses 15 and 17. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. It is so beautiful to think that no matter what obstacles we face, no matter what mountains, no matter which rocky paths we go through, that God will be there with us through all of them. And the following verse is from Luke 11 and is verses 9 to 13. And I say unto you, ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh, receiveth, and he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. If a son shall ask bread of any of you that is a father, will he give him a stone? Or if you ask a fish, will he for a fish give him a serpent? Or if he shall ask an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? If ye then, being evil, know how to good, good, give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? I think that this promise is so beautiful because it it just portrays the love that God has for us. You know, God always has our best interests at heart and I mean I think that it hurts him to it I think it hurts for him to watch us go through difficult situations or circumstances, but he always does what is in our best interest. Even if it's a situation that is painful or difficult, it God, oh sorry, this wind. <laughs> it is something that can be used to strengthen our characters and improve us as people and help us develop in our walk with him. And I think despite the pain of him allowing us going through those situations, we must always remember that everything is for the good. And no matter how dire a situation or no matter what you go through, there's always a silver lining, there's always something positive about it, and there's always beauty here. Mark 11 verse 24 Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall find them. Wow, I think it is, it's important to, to note the word believe because sometimes we also don't trust God, sometimes we pray, but at the same time we don't really think that God is going to answer our prayer, and it's of high importance that we have full faith and trust in God. You know, with our human nature, it is so, so, so easy to say we trust God when in reality our trust is not being placed upon God. Um, it's very easy to happen and oftentimes it happens so subtly and so so subconsciously that you know we don't even actually realize that we're doing it but it's important to ask God sorry but it is important to ask God to open our minds and our hearts and with that, I shall read, not a Bible verse, but a quote, not two quotes, that I thought were both beautiful and very relevant. So this is from Signs of the Times, November 18th, 1886. Every petition that is offered to God in faith and with a true heart will be answered. Such prayer is never lost, but to claim that it will always be answered in the very way and for the particular thing that we desire is presumption. God is too wise to err and too good to withhold any good thing from them that walk uprightly. And the 
final one, while it does not relate to prayer, is a quote that I found really touched me the first time I read it. I was just in awe and, you know, every time I read it, I just find it so beautiful, intimate and special. Come daily to Jesus who loves you. Open your heart to him freely. In him there is no disappointment. You will never find a better counsellor, a safer guide, a more sure defence. And that is from Our Father Cares. It is just so beautiful when one thinks of the privilege that we have of having a Heavenly Father who has so much love for us. It's actually incomprehensible to understand the full extent of God's love, which is part of the beauty of it. Um, but I really hope that at least one aspect of this video is something that will be thought-provoking or serve as an encouragement. Mm-hmm. <laughs>